weekend at 10 at Omaha's Memorial Park, where it'll take time to recover from this racist graffiti. Vandals burned that Nazi symbol into the grass, and that has Parks and Rec involved, along with police. KTV News Watch 7's Taylor Barth is live with a big story. Taylor. Julie, Rob, we've seen racist propaganda in little libraries in the area recently, but nothing like we saw here at Memorial Park this weekend. This time, city leaders say someone crossed the line. On Memorial Park's west side, a tilled square of grass stands out from the tidy lawn around it. This absurd. A small American flag blows in the wind as freshly planted flowers attempt to bring some beauty to a place filled with hate Saturday. I mean, I think it's sad. Omaha Parks and Rec officials found a large swastika burned into the grass at the park meant to honor veterans. These people gave their lives to fight for that freedom, you know, and, and to liberate these people and, and to do something at a park that is dedicated to those people is just like outrageously offensive. It just shakes you in terms of, I, I don't understand, you know, what's behind it other than kind of an outpouring of hate. Parks and Rec covered the racist symbol Saturday and tilled it up Sunday morning. It's not the first time neo-Nazi propaganda has appeared in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Hateful books and flyers recently popped up in Dundee, bringing questions as to whether they're all connected. I hope they're not, but who knows? The people who are doing it, just doing it for um to try to cause a ruckus, probably. It's probably like some 16 to 18 year old. Whoever it is, community members say they don't represent the neighborhood values. There's been so many outreach from other people about, you know, that's not what we're about. As a community, like, we want to stick together. And this is a place that definitely welcomes all people. Mayor Stothert tweeted tonight thanking park maintenance for their quick response and says someone will receive the grass tomorrow morning. We also got a statement from Councilman Pete Festerson. He says it's unacceptable to see this expression of hate in the place where we honor veterans who fought so hard to vanquish it. Again, police are investigating. Whoever did this could face a criminal mischief charge. Reporting live in Memorial Park, Taylor Barth, KETV Newswatch 7.